that. Well. Jonathan Hildago. That's right. NBA, yes. All right. Move a Discord out of here. Give people a moment. Oops. Welcome, Rain Man. Good to see you. So you'll be in on the bonus cast. <clears throat> And nobody else, looks like. All right, here we go. Subscribed, thanks. Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper End Corner with VSL12 Atwa, aka DMNBA. Bottom left hand corner, we have Raz, VSL12 Raz. This is part of the BSL ladder sessions working up there. And this is also a bit of an apology cast for patrons who. It's one of those things where I'm not sure how pleased my Patreons, patrons are or not. But I prefer to be active and aggressive in this regard to make sure you guys are happy and pleased. So, in particular, though, I have definitely forgotten to give a, a big shout out to one person in particular, or really give them the attention they deserve, which is uh, Benjamin de Bivort. So, Benjamin de Bivort, he is—he's uh, the guy who made my iconography and has really just been a big supporter all this time. So, special thanks to you. Wanted to give a shout out to the rest of the Patreon people out there. That is Zeke, who is supporting me at a high tier, so I gotta get it, get him uh, some meme time. And then the 80s mullet, thank you. Shout out to you. Jay Snake, of course, shout out to you. Zachary Leslie, Paul Hoke, Navi. ES says he's subscribed, but I don't see him on the list anymore. So I think he's trying to pull a fast one. We do have a gateway. And I'm glad I can, so yeah. So this is going to be a PvP bonus cast for just the stream and Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube sometime later, this was on, I don't know, however long a delay I put it, probably a week, maybe two weeks, and then decided to release it to the general public. If you want to catch cat, this is the, I'm trying to figure out Patreon rewards. And again, apologies to uh, patrons at large. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. It gives you a bit of energy and gives you guys kind of a boost in the middle of the day. I don't know. Uh, are seeing an, a gas PvP. Should be a good one. I hear this is a good game. I'm gr I'm extremely glad to highlight these two players in particular because Atwa is also known as NBA from Disturbed Minds and DM is a very old school Brood War clan. They actually participate pretty regularly in BWCL. I think they took fourth place this last season. That is a fun league where you just have top, really you have all the top players that have been playing forever in that league. And DM is a really long school. They also have other names like Depleted, Near, Pre, Tech, Vulture, Whip. Um, really, and everyone's like, ah, who are these guys? These are other guys I actually want to eventually get to highlight. Disturbed Minds, uh, check them out. If you see DM, that means, yeah, they're legit, most likely. Or they're posing as being on a legit clan out there in space. But NBA, in particular, he's a Chilean and... I kind of want to highlight all of the Americas, I guess, is what I've realized. I don't just want to be like, hey, so I'm, I'm kind of expand Because really, a lot of the clan leagues and a lot of the ladder sessions that happen between everybody, it's in those two server spaces, right? It's kind of the North America. It's, it's time zone based more than anything. So you end up with North America kind of support. Anyway, point being, NBA, a great player. I'm happy to highlight him. You have Raz as well, who's an up and coming Protoss player. He is getting weapons range. He also has that first Dragoon about halfway out. Both players look like they're just about... Uh, even as far as the build goes, we are seeing a second gateway from... No second gateway yet from Raz. We are seeing a second gateway from NBA, and it looks like NBA was able to clear out that probe scout, but not before that second gateway was spotted. PvP is, a, and it looks like there was maybe a gateway and then a cancellation. Nope, now plopping that second gateway down. Going to be a little bit delayed 
And with that mineral cancel, that's going to put Rez slightly behind, which can be a big difference in mirror matchups. PvP is a funny mirror matchup, I feel. It's one of those mirror matchups that... And really the critical thing, actually dropping three gateways down, Raz, the critical thing for PvP is there's always the moment where you need to put down that robotics facility or not. Because really, I feel like the core of PvP is two things. You've got Dark Templars, which could possibly be out there. You've got the robotics facility that could possibly, with the Observer, that could possibly be out there. And then there's, you know, Reavers and whenever they enter the mix. And kind of the rock, paper, scissors of it rotates all around those three things. And then just, you know, base gateway units and sometimes being able to expand. And there's really thin margins all the way around. One of the things that is a big indicator here is when, to, and, and that's the other thing is, it's one of those matches where you really, to get good at it, you need to be able to spot what your opponent is doing based just on the pure units they have on the ground. Raz pouring out, by the way, three Dragoons. So once five Dragoons show up down here, if NBA sneaks up and gets a good look at it, he'll have a good idea of what Raz is up to, that he's in a more of aggressive, this is definitely more on the aggressive side of build order. So less tech, more pure raw units, which over the two gateways is gonna allow NBA to get, well, it looks like faster tech in this instance. I was going to say faster Nexus, perhaps. He's going to go for the robotics facility route. This is kind of like the standard safe route that it's two gates, observatory, um, and then expand once you know what your opponent's doing. But sneaking out, able to kill the probe. There are four Dragoons on the front. You can see how Raz was cleverly keeping these additional Dragoons back. He's baiting NBA into this. That was genius play. He's like, nope, I have fewer units. Ha ha ha, go ahead and come into this. But nice micro. Plus the Zealot, it looks like that's actually going to be an overall even trade. He's trying to hunt this down and actually did hide an initial uh, Dragoon, so I'm not sure that NBA got a really good read on the pure gateway count. He is trying to flee with the amount of Dragoons he has. It looks like Raz is going to try to do a cutoff route. Now the question, So Raz not plopping down the, the Nexus just yet. He doesn't have the minerals to do so. It looks like he's continuing to pour out the additional Dragoons, smelling a little bit of blood in the water. Reinforcements sneaking up. Still needs to be careful. Just three health left on that Dragoon. And, I, and NBA still has no clue what he's up against. He's got two Dragoons positioned here down below. This isn't critically going to be matched just yet because this is far reinforcement points. And having additional gateway, just a additional gateway with these positions doesn't mean anything, especially with the high ground advantage in the ramp. But it looks like Raz is going to press this. He does have this single Zelt. Zelt's moving forward. Good concentration fire. It looks like some, and this is exactly what you want to do. First, shuttle out. What the shuttle can provide is a little bit of misfire. Four Dragoons on four Dragoons, and Raz realizing he doesn't have the unit advantage is going to go ahead and back up. Observer being built to follow this, and it looks like we do have robotics support bay to provide some harassment um, as well. And this is going to be an interesting scenario for NBA, because first of all, what this Reaver is going to provide is two things. One, he'll have the opportunity to be aggressive and kind of take initiative comparatively. Raz is going to be in the dark for a considerable period of time, but he is going to have the superior unit count. The thing, though, is that with that Observer out in the air... He can't hide what he's doing. He can't hide without his own observer to pick off that observer. NBA is going to know, okay, this is just pure units. And he's going to know where those Dragoons are positioned to either float around them, do some harassment, or just play a defensive game, which might be what he's opting for. Raz cleverly looking for that shimmer in the air, and he's going to try to do an end around. Raz in a bit of a difficult situation, I have to say, because he's got to make, a, I think knowing what's happened thus far, he needs to make a decision. I think NBA is saving up. He's like, okay, I've got that defensive reaver. I know I've got my opponent in a, a more defensive position. I've got kind of the tech lead. So let me just go ahead and stage up and take my own nexus, knowing that with the shuttle, with this reaver, he can't come into me. Uh, looks like Raz opting to just take that nexus in his own corner of the map, which is somewhat risky. And that's actually going to be built before NBA's. But NBA is going to spot that right off the bat. And that might be a key for... And this will be interesting how Raz defends... This is going to be critical, how he defends this. He's plopping down his own robotic facility now. But he's got to get a good Dragoon spread to kind of keep an eye if this shuttle does in fact decide to kind of sneak out of the map. It looks like a second Reaver is being built. So it's possible we're going to see two Reavers out on the attack pattern with additional Reavers being built to provide defense behind that. Raz moving the Dragoons looks like trying to stay away from just that Shimmer, that but that Observer you can see tagging wants to make sure he keeps an eye on where Raz's army's out so that he can get that maneuverability out in the field. Now, the question is, is does he stay back defensive or does he get aggressive? I think I like, what Raz, I like the idea behind Raz and what he's doing right here. I think he's trying to mock as though he's going for an attack and mock as he's going for defense back and forth just to keep sure that, ooh, and also got used a probe scout to get a good look at that army and see it move out. NBA skipping any sort of probe harass. He's just going to keep, keep those Dragoons together, go with the shuttle, and maybe try to engage heads up while he does have the tech superiority. 
keep in mind with that shuttle protection and a decent amount of micro that can make up for a sig depending on how it hits what are these probes that was a bit of a misclick mistake i think probes coming off the line unfortunately for rads uh sneaking around starting to attack that natural expansion one dragoon caught out of position the probes also caught out of position but this is going to lead to a pincer attack this is almost a lucky opportunity i gotta say from raz especially if he can get on top of that shuttle the shuttle is going to be key to pick off but one reaver has plopped down that might be able to kill several of the probes underneath one reaver down still trying to micro it a couple of dragoons actually not in the fight reinforcements coming from up above there's no misfire bonus but nba's army is going to get white plus both the reavers great engagement from raz wow and he really did not lose a lot of probes so he lost a bit of mining time he's behind actual actually in the overall probe cam i'm wondering if he cut probes to produce a couple additional dragoons but he has this nexus up he's going to be able to even it out taking out those two wow that is just a huge amount of gas and tech that essentially went into the dumpster right there shuttle is still alive so there's that bonus robotics facility just getting its own robotics support bay and the observatory just warping in now so i think he also cut some um, cut some build back there also to get some dragoons on the field i still don't think raz can press this any further big advantage there overall and he needs to be careful pressing this any further because two dragoons two reavers i still think is enough to take care of this on the ground although he might be able to snipe one of those reavers wisely not pressing advantage particularly being completely in the dark at this stage and actually sneaking out to the six o'clock position because i think he's what he's concerned about is okay now i know i have a significant lead maybe i can find that shuttle looks like that shuttle already made it to home base so maybe that shuttle's going to sneak around and also simultaneously what he's going to check is okay was there a ninja a ninja expansion taken at any location out here on the map observatory is out now reaver being built first from raz so he wants to make sure he establishes before he's getting that scouting information which he's actually played very well in the dark by the way fourth gateway going up to give a bit of production advantage so actually i would say that so the reaver count advantage and then the future production advantage going into nba's hands right here he's also got i would say the overall scouting advantage um, if he can get these observers in a place where they're actually doing work for him right now i think he's a little bit concerned about raz having an observer it's it's funny because i almost feel like raz has cut a corner a little bit by not having an observer with his army because usually this is where you want to be a little bit careful with your observers out in the field because they can get picked off by that army sneaking out forward with their own observers but instead by opting to kind of delay the observers out in the field he's getting his fourth gateway now by the way and you can see the probe count just now evening up could be anyone's game at this stage although I do feel like, well, we'll see. We'll see. I think it's just about even at this stage. I think Raz is sneaking out with this probe scout. One to get scouting information. But also, I'm wondering if he's thinking about taking an initial expansion himself. I think Raz feels that he's in the lead. Five gateways up now for NBA. And he's got a sizable attack force on the front. I'm wondering if he, yeah, he's already got the Citadel of a Dune down. He's already got that Zealot leg speed kicking up. And that is a big advantage against the Dragoon, the Dragoon Zealot battle moving forward. Still no Observer out for Raz. Raz is playing this completely by feel. And he's, and I like what he's doing. He's just, this is actually really clever. So knowing that he's playing completely by feel, he's actually just plopping these pylons around the map to one, that's actually, that's brilliant. To provide him some, some, uh, some supply but also to keep an eye on any army any shuttle that's sneaking around that base and comparatively nba has been so passive with these observers not wanting to lose them because he's expecting kind of that standard pvp observer out in the field action that he hasn't really been able to utilize them to their full potential i feel like in this match however this is going to be a tough engagement reavers plus speed zealots on top, it looks like Raz has managed to move these units back. The Zealots, uh, they just absolutely melt to Reavers on the front. Yeah, and you can just see how many units melted as they ran forward into that Reaver... I want to say shuttle, but it's not Reaver shuttle fire. It's Reaver scarab fire. And I got to feel like NBA has some indication that there are no additional observers out in the field. Looks like I think a probe managed to sneak in here somehow. Wow, he actually managed... <laughs> I, want to, I almost want to rewind, but I feel like it would mess with the video. After placing this pylon here, he was actually, with that attack, he was actually able to sneak a probe in here and get a look at the Templar archives. Raz is playing out of his mind right here with this. It looks like there is going to be a Reaver drop in the main. Nothing to defend it. Just these Dragoons that are popping out. That was almost a lucky spawn. Can't plan that. The probes are going to get... Wow. Probes are going to get out as a result, but these Dragoons are not long for life. Let's see if he can do some additional disruption. And, ooh, NBA playing a little bit too passively. He's actually backing up, and that actually, one, might cost him his shuttle, and two, 
might cost him a lot of potential. Okay, this observer now is going to be able to track the rest of this down. He is going to get some, regardless, he's going to get some mining disruption. He's moving his army up the mini-map, as you can see. But he's going to lose these two Reavers and the shuttle out in the field. So, the, But he might be able to get some map and positional control. For, only four Dragoons running across. Looks like they're kind of missing each other. There are some Dark Templar. I think, yeah. Oh, it's almost like too little too late, though. The Dark Templar coming out upon the realization that Raz was playing. And now he's losing observers. Ugh, I feel like part of this is just skill, but the other part of it is just an immense amount of luck as far as positioning, as far as what's happening for Raz. But he is playing really, really well here. Hopping up on the high ground is able to uh, get two of the Dark Templar. Third one is going to flee before it's even built. But you can see there's a end-around attack from NBA. While these Dark Templar are getting chased down, he's going to go for the counterattack into the natural expansion. There's nothing to defend there. So nice maneuver. And is this going to turn into a base trade situation? Potentially so. Running and there's nothing to defend this. The Dragoon is going to try to block. Actually, no, it's just going to give up ramp position. Additional units being built. Raz desperately trying to get back to his main, but he's going to lose a lot here, potentially, in the meantime. And he's going up against his own, what would have been a high ground advantage. His own shuttle coming up in here. I don't even know that he can peek that shuttle. Being very careful with the way this shuttle's positioning, drawing the Dragoons away. Great! That is high level play right there. Using the Dragoon, or sorry, using the shuttle and the Reavers to draw the Dragoons off the high ground advantage, disrupt them, and provide him a little bit of additional space. Now dropping them from behind when they're a little bit safer. Still is probably going to end up losing these Reavers, but that's giving him the opportunity to get the rest of these Dragoons up on the ramp. I gotta say, Raz is playing out of his mind. Still might lose his robotic facility. Has not lost. I, I feel like NBA's been. Part of it, I don't think NBA is even playing poorly. He's just getting a bit unlucky in some of these engagements. You can see where he's been heads up on when he's realized that things are happening. But Raz has just been one step ahead, it feels like, this entire match. With that NBA dropping down 20 supply behind through just some clever engagement tactics. Clever, clever engagement tactics. Actually doing the same thing opposite side that he missed dropping a pylon of his own. The upper left-hand corner maybe is a mental marker. He has six gateways up, so he should be able to resupply a l in a little bit of a superior situation. Let's see if he is continuing to flood out the Dark Templars. He does have a High Templar as well. So tech advantage is slightly, and I mean ever so slightly, in NBA's favor still. But he is supply behind. He has a bigger bank. But as things progress, Raz is going to take a significant advantage. Let's see if these Dark Templar... Are, are, is there a cannon here? There is one cannon at the 12 o'clock. There's still no cannon. And it looks like a Dark Templar is able to get into the natural expansion. Already has five kills. But there's a counterattack happening into the natural. This is going to be difficult for Raz to deal with. Because first of all, he's losing everything in his natural. But secondarily, he's trying to push in with this huge attack force that he needs to micro very, very carefully. And I'm not sure that he even realizes that his natural expansion is getting decimated. He might be able to recover from this just from the superior nexus count, but we'll see. Pushing in, that's entirely gone. Might lose his nexus right there. That is, it looks like, a, from rough count, about 15 kills on those Dark Templar in the natural expansion. Raz continuing to pound this natural. Still no Psystorm. Looks like still working on energy for Psystorm to deal with these Dragoons in the natural. There are, there, and there's, Storm's finished. I'm wondering where the Storm's waiting from. Maybe he doesn't want to catch and storm his own probes, or maybe he's waiting for a better shot. There's the Storm, trying to hit the Observer as well. Does get the Observer, almost catches a High Templar. Oh, are we going to see a Storm on the probe line? No, Raz does not get as much accomplished as he wanted. Somehow the supply counts are even, despite losing that Nexus and everything else. Probes are now fleeing the natural, and I think NBA got the better of that exchange first of all he still has his natural expansion running raz getting a little bit lucky just because well he's behind the overall probe count he is behind as far as overall gateways i think the advantage is now going to nba nba has an opportunity to really seize this match if he goes uh, he's gonna have to take out that pylon but if he can go ahead and take an additional expansion it looks like he's popping down his own pylon if he can go ahead and take an additional expansion maybe two and make sure that raz can't sneak in and get any sort of Sneaky attacks back and forth, really back and forth match here. Raz realizing that he is now at a disadvantage, going ahead and getting a zealot, or it looks like one zealot, trying to gather up a handful of high templar. So three high templar, a single zealot, and he is going to need to get some work done with that. Sending out an exploratory zealot of his own. Now that that pylon was being taken out, I think he was hoping to go in and maybe sneak a probe kill to try to delay that, or at least get a spot. At, otherwise, as far as if those zealots were pulling off the line. We've got seven gateways versus just the five, or yeah, five on the opposite corner. So that's a significant supply advantage. This Dark Templar is not going to get much done. It looks like this army positioning just to be defensive. This is gonna. This could be the match right here. This could be the drop that decides things. 
shuttle sneaking across the six o'clock. It looks like now that this, I think this army might have been spotted across the middle. I'm not sure. No, it doesn't look like it. I think NBA's sneaking back. This is going to be huge. This drop right here. I think I missed a Dark Templar at some point. Huge storm! Oh my goodness! Obliterates, completely obliterates that natural expansion. And drops the Zealot for additional... Oh wow, That down to nine probes. To nine probes, now to eight as that Zealot's continuing to do work. Now NBA, I think, is in a situation where he might be all in. Where he might just need to just try to push through and devastate everything that Raz has. Raz does have two High Templar in position to deal with this. That was that was the most hellacious storm I think I've ever seen in my entire life. That completely... I was like, maybe he'll get some success out of this. But wow. Wow. Completely devastated that line. The Zealot's pushing in. Good storms on the ramp. One Observer taking out. Some additional probes getting taken out. The natural expansion otherwise. Keep in mind, Raz still has another expansion. This is a lot of Archons pushing in. And that is some beef meat to deal with this army. And keep in mind, Raz does not have as many gateways comparatively, although NBA is no longer mining a lot of resources. You can see it looks like he's just kind of evened out. And that might be GG as the rest of this army is cleared out. Oh my goodness. I gotta say, great play from both players. Very back and forth match. Incredible. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That storm. <laughs> that series of storms. Wow. So, uh, Raz... He doesn't stream very often, but check him out. He's oftentimes part of the King of the Hills here and there. Uh, definitely check out DM NBA and the Brood War Clan League at large and all of their players and where you can catch that. Honestly, I don't feel like that league gets as much attention as it deserves. And special thanks to everybody out there who is a supporter. Again, apologies for... and th Yeah, I don't know if I should be... It's one of those spaces where I'm like, should I be apologizing? I don't even know. Um, but... I'll just, I'll, I'll stick with the confidence thing. I'll be like, actually, no, this is great. You guys love it. Special thanks to Zeke, 80s Mullet, Jay Snake, Benjamin DeBivort, Zachary Leslie, Paul Hoke, Navi, and ES, my supporters, as of this moment. Uh, if you want to check out my Patreon, it is Patreon slash DiggitySC. And for the live stream, oftentimes you'll catch me playing Shuttle Knight just to kind of decompress. Or you can catch these live games.